We can get Brad's agreement to this. We can nail it down as truth. I think uh, we shouldn't skip it. And I think that... Uh, I agree. Yeah. Uh, Julie should read this section. Oh, I'll be glad to read it. If you don't mind. So let's, uh, we have nothing else to do for a few minutes, so what? What would follow if, what would follow if not? Mm -hmm. Boy, I am having trouble finding this. 39E is where the, you're beginning? That whole discussion on the gods we can ignore. Okay, let's skip it. So you're really talking 40, at 40, right? D5 or something? So, see, why don't we just then, because the conclusion to this is, okay, let's believe them. Actually, is that in the text? It should be in the text. Um, the, I like that beginning. Say, I don't get it. Hmm? What, what did you write? I don't quite get it. Since they lack, mm -hmm. since these descriptions of the gods lack probable or necessary demonstrations, let's follow custom, believe them, and skip it. Right? It's customary, so let's just uh, let's follow custom. Therefore, we have a right just to skip it, since he agrees it's only there to follow custom. I mean, it's not our custom, so let's dump it.
Or, uh, if you don't like my skipping it, uh, give a reason why you think we should spend any time on the description since it's only custom that preserves it. <coughs> Hmm. Well, isn't it? Aren't they supposed to be um, words given by their descendants? Speaking of family matters, so they're supposed to be yeah. the gods speaking about the gods, so to yeah, speak. Yeah, but since it's custom, or just custom, doesn't it allow us to skip it. Come on. Does it allow us? No to probable or necessary demonstrations. And so let's follow custom and belief and then skip it. Well, how, on, on one level, how can we believe them if we don't know what they are? Oh, well, we got a whole bunch of them. It's yeah, well... In the middle of that paragraph. Don't we have to look at them and decide? No, yeah, we could sketch them out with them. I should tell me why. I see. Hmm. Right? Hmm. Fair yeah. enough. See? <laughs> we're, uh, working on, we're working on this at light speed. I had one before <laughs> she started reflecting, by the way. You had a... You had a, a what? An ally. You. Oh, oh. You were agreeing with me before. I'm trying to find a way to agree with you, or not. <laughs> hmm. Look, if this work is supposed to have a certain level of intelligibility, why stick in a hunk? Mm -hmm. And the author says this about it. Hmm. This is is he just being polite and wants to include custom, just drop it in there? Okay, it's okay with me. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> but if it is, why should we spend any time on it? That's enough. So therefore we can skip it. Uh, agree? Okay. Yeah. Get help. Get, Marty agrees with you? You're making a fairly compelling argument. Or, hey. Yeah, go ahead, you're up. Oh, I was just getting my hair out of my face. <laughs> 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 Remember the days where we used to have people that volunteer and jump in and help out? Mm -hmm. No more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hmm, let's see here. It's a button pushing his computer. Our brains have all hmm. gotten bush. Look, whatever translation you're into, doesn't it appear that this is correct? It's only in there because he wants to include a custom. And by definition, there's nothing probable about it or necessary demonstration to do anything. So, well, follow the custom and believe them and let's go. But, but it's not that he wants to include it. It's, it says that it's necessary in this case. So I, is a, it's necessary. He says it's necessary in this case to believe in ancient men. So the, our, our, our job is to find out why it's necessary that we talk about or What? Is that understand. there in that translation? Yeah. You must be in Thomas Taylor or something. Yeah, I am. Well... Don't this one has it too. This one has it too. The love doesn't have it. Where are we in the love? It does. I can't find it anything in there. It's forty one B. Forty one B. Forty one D. Forty B. Forty B. Forty B. Yeah, what page concerning the other? Forty. Forty. Forty D. No, no, I meant in the, in the Thomas Taylor with the... Well, in this copy, 142. No, I have one. Oh, 142. Top. Are we talking about the four forms or the other divinities? Or both? Um, I think we're talking about the divinities, not the four forms. It is 
impossible, therefore, not to believe in the children of the gods, that they should speak without probable or necessary argument. Okay. This is merely complying with the law, so we should assent to their tradition, uh, just the law, and we should assent to their tradition, therefore we can skip it. I don't know if that's the only reason it's in there. Uh-oh. Go ahead. Uh, this is this isn't, isn't there something about a connection between the copy and the model here. I've heard that said. And uh, though it's without, time to question it now, but go ahead. Well, we might question it, but <laughs> if if we just accept this section, then we really don't know how it's functioning in the model to copy. And therefore, we can drop it. Well, but we don't. We, we have to know how it's functioning because if not, we can't understand how the providence, you know, of the divine permeates the universe. So you're working on the assumption. Let us say the reason you're putting it forward. It might be important if we stay with it. Okay. What was the now, reason you put forward, Ms. Lee? But. Given the idea of model copy. Yes, with okay. model copy. Okay. 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 You just said we have right. oh, want to do it, and so I was pointing out that given model it says it's necessary copy. in this case to believe. Ah. It might have been. So let's look. Hmm. Okay. Because as near as I can tell, these functions that they perform are necessary for the model copy to be complete. Without them... No, no, no. That means we're seeing the connection between the two. Are you? Can you give us a hint of how to do it? Mm. Not rejecting your idea, we should be able to have some way to proceed to see whether that's true or not. That's all. Okay. Without Thank asking uh, <laughs> Yeah, that's embarrassing. That mark, I mean, it's embarrassing that, when we have to ask yeah. them, you know. Can you give me any help, will you? <laughs> well, what about, what about this? Hold it if you want to go. Yeah. Uh, they seem to be making a distinction um, of the different, of this exposition to, to decipher which ones are, are to explain uh, the difference between the immortal and the mortal. Yeah, how will that answer the question? I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. She knows. <laughs> no, 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 no. Help out. Ah, oh, now we got help finally. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, what, what about this? Okay, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> this paragraph um, is saying that the relationship between the God and its progeny cannot be related through necessary arguments or probable arguments. Um, and so, perhaps it, it's analogously one can think of it this way, that since <coughs> what's produced is supposed to be of the closest likeness <coughs> to, to the model. What model? Well, the paradigm. What? The paradigm. The parent model. The paradigm. Oh, the paradigm. Oh, okay. Okay. So that... Okay, um, look here. Uh, Can everyone see by that demonstration the necessity of speaking up? Hi. See if it fits right. Since Pierre followed everybody to their source. See, I have an earlier copy of the time is, and this section was cut out 
and they put it in yours. And at the, in the space where it was cut out, they wrote across it in red. Uh, it's only custom, drop it, it's not relevant to anything. In the space where they cut it out? <laughs> they put yeah, right in the space that they cut out, they wrote it in red. I see. Not green. A good writing, that must be. Oh, yeah. Very few people can write in an empty space. <laughs> yeah. But what did you write? No copy. See if it fits the paradigm. No, that no, that wasn't. Well, let me change it. Yeah. How do you want to put it? Well, I'm wondering if he's um, relating the product to the paradigm. Uh, by saying that the relationship is not relating the what follows order of the gods progress what yeah the progress from the god okay like that the relationship between the products and the source is one that can't be linked by either probable or necessary arguments but it's um what do you call it? Um, like in a divided line, the between the the upper world and the lower world, it's um, incommensurable. No, no, no! Come on, you have to be. I'm going to write it up so it has to be clearer. Well, that the relationship between the product and the source is incommensurable. Hmm. Help me. There should be a way of seeing the order of the gods. Uh, is that right? Mm -hmm. How do you want me to put it? Uh, you write it out and then I'll make sure I did it accurately and put it on the board. <coughs> right, Mark? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, that's why it's best to just cut it out and ignore it. Okay. Or we can just read it and then just put it aside and keep on going. That'll be best, maybe. You shouldn't That's even have read it up. How foolish is that? Okay, let's just read it and then it's easy to skip it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, at least we all know what we're skipping. Right, Barbara? Barbara? Well, I'm glad you raised the question. I wish I had an answer. Because we'd be better off if we knew... Um, like why it's important to have this section when we read it. All right. It okay. would be good to have. Okay. Why? Okay. But I have okay. no idea. Okay. Okay. Well, to see the connection between the previous paragraph and this one would be nice. To see why he begins by saying there's no probable demonstration to this mm -hmm. or necessary. Especially because it goes against his principle, I thought. Oh. Ah. Hmm. Do I have your point? Why did Plato put it in if its only if its only virtue was law and custom? I believe that's your point, but I, no, 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 I, no, I'd no, really no, love to clear, it. claim it. No, no, how do you want me to change it? Let's leave it like that. Okay, thank you. And I have an answer for it, which is why I like to put it that way. Oh, I see. What's the answer? It's in the book. He wanted to follow custom it, it's and in the... law. And Plato always follows law, except when he doesn't. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I could. Well, what? What? I, I could add a couple of more things to it to show you how foolish it is. Oh, that would be helpful. Okay.
since there are many gods that he ignored, why did he choose these? Mm. See, now that puts, that puts a different emphasis, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. But is this a song? That there may be a reason. A reason, absolutely. This is saying there isn't any reason other than law and custom. Mm -hmm. right. And that's a take off from this one. Why did Plato put it in as only virtues, law and custom? Yeah, good. Good, good. So then, since we agreed just to have some fun before we start, <laughs> and we still have 20 minutes to fool around, therefore we haven't yet started. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, we start at 10 o'clock. we got 20 minutes to go. <laughs> <laughs> I can only say they must have had some customs. If, uh, because there's a low level to the word custom. There is uh, a low level too. Or a high one. And the, the, Same the, thing with law. Yeah. Yeah. Because otherwise they wouldn't have included it unless that there was something very particularly noble about these customs. Yeah, the okay. Laws. So how should we proceed to see if there's anything better to my suggestion would be just to read it, then we can ignore it, no one will be upset. Hmm. Uh, no one includes you. Yeah, I, I would be very happy about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm still upset about a, uh, a, living, a living cosmos that lives off its own excrement. Well, <laughs> Such things as that <laughs> I come across, so they give me pause. Oh, look at this one, Jim. This really, he's even ignoring so many of the Greek gods that it's totally incomplete anyhow. And that shows how ridiculous it is. Yeah, look, I got an ally. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that. Books to convince anybody. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. Hello. So. Marty suggested that we skip this section because it's only custom that allows them to put it in. And, uh, so I put it on the board. Or something like that. That's probable. What, what, what was the reason for skipping? Well, I just skipped this whole business about the gods. It's not central, do it? It's only cut. He says it's too great a task for us anyhow to, dis to discover and declare their origin. Too great a cloud. So let's skip it. And since they lack probable and necessary demonstrations, let's follow. And he says, best thing to do is merely follow custom and believe them. Why should we can just read it and skip it then, since he's just doing it to satisfy custom. And Brad agreed, so yeah. I, I got people on my side. Arbitrary. I presume this is enough evidence for you to go along. No. Sheesh. <sighs> Nothing but trouble. Well, how are you going to send me? And what for? It's 
probably a, a work worth saving. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I won't be able to know either way until I... No, no. So would you agree this comes out of the text? The low below. Oh, you got the embedded question, I like that one. So, got this question? Okay. Put it in if the only virtue is law and custom. Where's the law and custom part? That depends on which translation. 40 e, third line. 41A. 40E. 40E. Thank you. Fourth line, sorry. Okay, why don't you read it first, just to... Concerning the other divinities, to discover and declare their origin is too great a task for us. Good, which is why... Is that it? Hey, 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 right? Go ahead. And we must trust to those who have declared it aforetime. Yeah, just trust them. <laughs> right? I think got the spirit. Serious. Go ahead. They being, as they affirm, descendants of gods and knowing well, no doubt, their own forefathers. <coughs> yeah, that seems... That's yeah, so the next sentence that I like. Uh, it is, as I say, impossible to disbelieve the children of God. It's just uh, impossible to disbelieve. No. Uh, <laughs> even though their statements lack either probable or necessary demonstration. Even though? What, <laughs> even though? What does that mean? <laughs> that... Um, they didn't. Uh, they didn't give any demonstration, mm. either probable or necessary, which means something was lacking, even though they're children of gods. So what are we going to do? Keep going. And inasmuch as they profess to speak of family matters, we must follow custom and believe them. Right. Right. So. <laughs> Well, their family. <laughs> Therefore, I believe it. So next time I tell stories about my Uncle Louie, I don't want any of you guys to doubt it. We never, never. did. Never. <laughs> never. 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 Never, see? Was he a god? <laughs> Look, with this logic, I can easily push him up a peg or two. <laughs> <laughs> he needs it. <laughs> Father is still into it, you see. Look, with multiple books. <laughs> hmm. uh, okay, look here, look here. Try another one then. All right, since you're getting tired of this one. Here, okay. All right, give me another question. if we could justify the inclusion of that set of gods in the time errors, what would follow? I mean, what, what point are we making? But, okay, all right, I'll put it down. What would follow if we could justify the inclusion of these gods? In 
the Chimeos and Chimeos' statement. Well, we'd follow if we could. This follows, uh, for those of you who like it, this is called the so what argument. All right, so what? What would follow if you could justify it, since we think there's no reason at all to justify it other than custom, unbelieving forefathers. So put that aside. What would follow if we could justify their inclusion? What would you do? Nothing worthwhile. Therefore, we can abandon this as just as well. Uh, agree? I don't, I don't know if we should abandon it. Take a minute to think about it. I mean, it's... Yeah, it's okay. Bad. We get more homework. Oh. Because hmm. we'd have to then figure out if somehow this family of the gods can be allegorized, or like, what does it mean to accept Zeus? Maybe you find some, maybe you discover a reason. Yeah, oh yeah, that might, that would follow. Jump in, we need help. I just wonder, at one point, what, right now, what I see is that it's not a definite number. How many would it be if you were including... 3,851. <laughs> That's kind of the point. It could be, it could be. <laughs> no, because no, no, he says no, they're no. brethren oh, they're, they're... and all their other descendants. It's not just a, it's not a countable number, as well, I see. Well, I'll tell you what, okay. that make as difference? you look at that list, uh -huh. uh, it's a very distinguished list. Mm -hmm. um, offhand, I'd say sometimes Apollo is thought to be a pretty hot god. If he's in the Brethren. Is he included? Yes. Where? Uh, those, as we know, called their Brethren. The Brethren are like... Uh, so he doesn't mention them. Not by name. People in here have read stories about the Greek gods before tonight. Is that possible? Mm -hmm. Oh, then I have this question for you. Do you find it curious that uh, Tefs and uh, Barkis uh, are included in this list? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because they're very popular, aren't they? <laughs> no. No? No. Never heard of them in my life. Only in oh. Homer, Homer. Then do you find it curious that this might be the first time you've encountered them? Homer. Homer. Okay, Homer. Okay. But? Minor deities. A minor poet. But, but really, do you find this curious or not? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't. When you read it, were you curious about it? No. Mm. Yes. When I read it, I was irritated. <laughs> <laughs> How do these two dudes do it? What did you do with your curiosity? So, uh, it must be it. I must make it into anger. The transmutation. Right. So, number one, were you curious when you encountered it? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know who the hell they were, so I forgot it. Was it important? That's why you know it's important. Mm. Mm. I agree. I mean, here's a guy writing. A careless... That is including in a list of gods. Two names. That you're not familiar with. Or have to do some fast looking up. Ah. Well, he tells you... She's got a computer. She's digging it right now. We've got a great Scott. What did you find? I, I say let's go for the great Scott. <laughs> oh, to Dimitri found uh, a reference. It has okay. a reference to Hesiod's Theogony. It says it's... Uh, That's good. Which. Yeah, which is the deity? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Forpus? Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's in Hesiod's Theogony. And it's uh, he's a sea god, son of Pontus and Gaia. Was that helpful? In, 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 yes. Was that helpful? Yeah. 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 
Do you know what God is talking about? It says right there. No. Do you? Yes. Which one? Forkus. Oh, Porky. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what about him? <laughs> He's the go ahead. son of Pontus and Gaia, according to Hesiod in his theology. Did that help us? <laughs> Wait a minute. Did that help us? Judging it didn't help. No. Oh. Who's Pontus? The well, there's only. It, this, okay, try the other one. Does that help? Rhea. Hmm. <laughs> Kathy's? Yeah, look at it, kind of got it. <laughs> He's got to get his money's worth tonight. Do you have internet access on there? I don't. I've seen it, but I didn't know. Have you checked it? I can't get access to the internet. You can't get access because? <laughs> it's not up here. Unwireless zone. My like books are better than that. You need one of those things to plug in. He knows. He knows. He finally we got him. He did. He knows. <laughs> he did. He did. He knows. <laughs> you got all your answers right here. Right <laughs> on, man. Oh jeez. All we need to know now. Somebody. Here it is, guys. Hey. Here's the question we'll work on. We find it curious that these two names of gods are included in the list of uh, 39 to 40. The yeah, they're sea gods. Tethys, I think she's like lots of sea. Okay, sea gods. Yeah. Sea gods. And Forkis is a, a, a kind of little demigod, um, has a lot of nymphs. He's <laughs> close, <laughs> close, he's like second to, to Neptune. Forkies are so good. Fucking funny about Forkies. Forkies are the little nibs. Yeah, yeah he gets the pork. You know the genealogy of these guys, and you know the pork stuff. You don't need to know the details, and that tells you everything you need to know. Is that true? Which is why. Well, hey, in my old neighborhood, you know, when you call someone a son of a bitch, then it settles it. You know the genealogy. Right. Uh, in the dark world. Well, uh, <laughs> see, we want to know why are they in that list? How can we make yeah, any sense of it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is like the first dialogue, isn't it? Like one. Mm -hmm. That's the one. That's the difference. Yeah, we got it right here. Oh. I don't know about it. Well, it's some, right down. Well, there's some Greek here. Oh, some Greek here. Okay. That indicates that <laughs> Oceanus and Tethys are the fathers of generation. Okay. That's it. Huh? And since the Timaeus is about generation, it appears to be. Money. Yeah. Okay, that's it then. Story about generation. Okay. That's why we can skip this section. Mm -hmm. At least a piece of the Now that we've line. understood it. Uh oh. Is Kronos, isn't Kronos' father and mother Gaia and Uranus? Isn't, isn't Uranus Kronos's. I always go with her, yes. Yeah, well, because the way this is stated. Yeah, that's right. His children are Oceanus and Tethys, yeah. and Kronos would appear to be their offspring. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's just different. This is now an even see, bigger puzzle. Whatever answer we get, yeah. would it answer the question, does he break? Uh, how is it functioning? What, why did mm. they put it in? Well, it's different lineage. Is it simply the because... Custom is a good thing to do, and therefore, as you said, that's reason enough why he wanted to drop it in. Well, it's wrong. He, it, yeah. it appears to be a mistake. It appears to, See? to be a, a mistake. You and I are on the right target. This oh. whole list appears to be incorrect. Stop, stop. So he's so giving right. this the, list. The list is all wrong, isn't it? It is all wrong. wrong. Yeah. Gosh, if you even put it into cosmology, it's all wrong. So it's not, yeah. it's, ah. not, it's not custom then. Therefore, it ain't custom. That's right. Ah. 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 
Okay, I'd like her. <clears throat> what are you doing? Uh, got another question for you, okay? reason why we dropped it in where it did. It starts at 28, we're now 10 pages into it, and he drops it in. And it's just simply, uh, you know, it's a good reason to believe it was a mistake. He was old when he wrote this, <laughs> and maybe it was just you know a, a senior moment. He just wrote it because, you know it just sort of came out, and then he said, "Okay, you know I'll just leave it there." Right. Let me try something, okay? But now this is going to give you some work. All right. Um, if we went back to. Uh, early section, which is, uh, thank goodness early sections come before. Later section. Um, as you know, my, my uh, memory is not too good, so I need some help on this. But, uh, If you went back to 30, where oh. Chimeus then opens up a whole paragraph. What would you say in that first paragraph that starts that second episode of Chimeus, which is a 29E, what's the purpose of the work? What's the goal of the work? To show what? To be as like God. himself as possible? What to do? To be as like himself as possible? That's what he does. For what reason is he doing what it is that he does? Oh. To show the providence of God. What is it again? To show the providence of God. Oh. And that it's good. Oh. Oh, look here. If that's the goal, would you agree we've been working on an assumption? The assumption is that if we really want to see the providence of God, that means we're going to have to see it on its highest level all the way down to Mm. us and all the divisions that he outlines as he continues they must all show how this idea of providence proceeds all the way down mm -hmm. agree? Mm -hmm. is that what we've been saying? Mm -hmm. But in every section, what should we do? Go back and make sure that there's a linkage because we are not going to be able to see what he's saying about the providence of God unless you can see in each of the divisions exactly how it proceeds to end up with us. Is that right? So, um, we're at now... 39, 
Um, is it possible, watch this now, okay? Is it possible that there is in this section a list of gods? Yeah. <clears throat> I yes. guess you'd say, yes, it's there in the text. Is it possible that he is choosing from all of the gods that set of gods that carry and are responsible for the flow of providence from the highest god to us? Mm -hmm. Is this a theology, therefore, to express mm -hmm. the providence of God? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, go yeah. next step, okay? Why did he put it in where he did? Uh, well, we know it's a key place because what follows, what follows from this point in the text is how now to complete the creation, mortal beings come into existence. Is that true? God of gods, right? Is that right? So he has to order. Would you agree, gods? Well, <laughs> where do they come from? Would these then be the set of gods necessary to show the linkage? Now, wait a minute. If that's true... Uh, Is that the problem? Is that the problem of providence? To show how providence in the heavens can proceed down to us. You call that a problem? Yeah. <laughs> Rather generous, I think. Well, then wait a minute. Then let me give you a challenge then. Uh, is it possible then that we might be able to take that list of gods and find places for them between 30 and 39? Hmm. Does Propos have anything to say about this? I don't know. I don't, don't know him. Don't know him, huh? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. That's worthwhile. Uh, Proclus doesn't do this, but he does say a few things about each of the gods, and that might be worth looking at. But he doesn't do what we're suggesting here. So look at hypotheses, right? Could we take that list of gods and see in the work that's done from that page 30, and find a set of divisions, and would it be possible then to take that set and say, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Why would the genealogy be important? Because he's saying there's more than one God on each level. Oh, then we'll have to know why that is the case. How many generations did you say? I think you counted them before. Four. Therefore, are they four divisions before this? No. Okay, what does this question do? Let's look for a moment. What does this question do for you? What? I was just thinking of the four divisions. So there would be the Pardon? nine gods, the sea gods, the the um, earth. Air, gods. air gods, the ocean, or the earth gods. <clears throat> I'll take more. And I'm always thinking about that chart I bought from the American Classical League, which had every god listed hierarchically in relation to all its progeny and, you know. Yeah, he mentions all the deities, but only in general. 
So specifically, ocean and Tethys were, were the rich, pardon me? originally ocean and Tethys are considered chaos and earth. Chaos and earth, and earth give, uh, and then heaven and earth, Kronos, uh, Uranus comes back with earth incestuously, just refers to all those, and then um, uh, earth and heaven also give birth to Saturn and Rhea, Jupiter and Juno, and, um, and then Saturn and Rhea, they give birth to Jupiter and Juno, and then Jupiter and Juno um, give, give birth to all the heroes and demigods. And sister too, right? Chronos and Rhea. Yeah. And sister, also mm -hmm. the parents of the Zeus. Right? So, um, just as an example, at 30, what is it that he's talking about? <coughs> is he talking about... Um, Earth and heaven, in that first paragraph, the process, is that right? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. yes. 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 By the way, is a key feature of providence that it must start with this. This is the basic issue of mm -hmm. providence, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Same one? How, yes. how can, how can mm -hmm. the providence in the heavens get down to earth? Hmm. Uh, well, um, See, 
if it does this, if there is this at 30, does he need anything else? Why didn't he stop there? Um, See, we're going to be left with a puzzle, and the puzzle is going to be how do, how do these gods function so that we can then possibly put it together rather than merely know their genealogy. So whatever this is, and whatever this is, it has to in some way develop this. And and bring it forward, because this should be, theologically speaking, the path of provenance. Because, why? Because would you not agree, at this point, level five is very significant. A new set of gods are introduced. Agree? A new set of gods are introduced mm -hmm. to finish creation, to complete it. Ah, therefore we ought to be able to find it. Um, you might be able to save generations of, of mankind from ignorance by helping me answer this question. <laughs> um, since I'm responsible for a lot of them. And I always say, when I, when, when I point out that uh, God conceived with its kin, they always go, eh! And, and I always respond, well, we got to go back. How do you get something from nothing? Are you going to start with everything all at once? Or are you going to slowly develop unions and creation and the act of creation has in it uh, a, a natural um, uh, bonding and uh, it eventually makes more and the more creates less sameness and less sameness allows us to have more sex. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was well put. Go ahead. What did you say? Yes. <laughs> Come on, do you agree? Uh, what did he say? <laughs> so, more That's what more I tell my demonstrators. Creates more difference. No, I, I, I'm not good. I just like how it ended up. Well, the way I started, if you don't remember, <laughs> was how the hell you get something from nothing without dividing it very finely and making very, very close and very careful division between the same such that somehow they can vaguely become different. And, and, and that's how Ocean and Tethys and Kronos and Rhea, sister and brother, where the hell Forkies is coming from, it's, it's like I, I go, and then Zeus and Hera, brothers and sisters, but in spite of that there's greater and greater diversity and greater and greater distinctions between the different qualities of these gods. Remember, Kronos was a—I mean, Uranus was a, a, a complete, um, um, self-consuming entity. It had to be stopped, and it was castrated by Kronos, who, who then swallowed his children because he was completely um, obsessed with uh, his own reign, and therefore had to be cast some out, and, um, and every, all the gods were then finally differentiated without the, the need for Husia, without the need to go back and reconsume themselves. And thus, thus we got diversity. Now, let, let me take that point, which is this. Um, Let this represent any of the gods. 
We do not agree there are many stories of these guns. Oh. <coughs> now, if we want to use it within this sketch, it looks like the essential thing is that they're related in a certain way. Right? There's a combination going on. Right? There's a combination. Like, um, in other words, whatever you're going to say about Kronos, it must be significant in respect to Rhea. Same thing with Zeus and Hera. So of all the stories you can have, we're looking for the one or whatever number that we can use to understand that. So if we had as an example Kronos and Rhea, um, certainly the one that we would look for is how these two relate to one another. Not what they do individually. So, in the same way, all the way up. Now, um, what I like about this dude is that he always gives us a problem. Because look at the, the names he's using. I'm, the information we have is very next to nothing. So even if we go into our good friend Proclus, we have to search out what in heaven's name is he pulling out out of everything said of these two, the kind of thing that will link with this such that it's natural to see. Hey, they're all couples. Wow. Family. Mm -hmm. Husband, wife. They're all related. They're relationships. Why, that's rather curious. <clears throat> Except for Porky. Why? Is he a, who's he coupled with? Who did who? That's right. He yeah, that's a who would who. Right, right. right. He didn't know <clears throat> anyone. John. I hate to interrupt again. <laughs> if I'm correct, two things. Plato mentions Tethys as prior to broad vested earth. Pardon me? As prior to broad-breasted Earth in some other place, Tethys and Oceanus and broad-breasted Earth, and he's doing some with Eros or something. Um, Forkies is finally dealt with by Hercules, good old Hercules, who went around ridding all of humanity from chaos. Um, Forkies was uh, a sea god who could change into any form he wished. And uh, the trick was, if you saw him as a shark, he would soon be a crab, and then he would be this, and so it was hard to grapple him. Uh, Hercules uh, was given some advice, you hold on to him until he doesn't have any more change to transform through. And so at this point, I think why he puts Are you Porky's talking about in Proteus? There. Huh? Proteus is that. Not Porky's, is it? That's his brother. Oh, the brother? They both have the same quality? Sorry. Yeah, they have, they have Sorry, I never heard that, Dave. Sorry. I thought it was, uh, there was Forkies and Proteus, and, and you might be right, but yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, okay. I, I was in that realm where we, the, the reason Zeus and Hera are different from Kronos and Rhea is because change has been put in, into... Um, uh, um, Let's assume harm. something, then. Just for a moment, try this. Let us assume there's a body of information... Is that true? Scant as it is that we can lay out for each of these names. Hold it, okay? Then what would happen if we were just to reread from 30 to that very point? Make the divisions, make the divisions, and wouldn't it be interesting, curiously enough, if it turns out to be uh, four divisions? 
then is it possible that what's ever going on there could be represented? So even if we do not know at any point, uh, pardon me, at this point, because of the scanty material available to us, what these names mean, could we not just simply substitute from the text the way it's functioning in the one and pass it over to the other? Indeed. That's consistent. But we need to vote on this. Okay. Barbara? Yeah. W would you I'll mind? There. She said yes. <laughs> Didn't you say yep? Y yeah. But there, see? The democracy works. Mm. <laughs> or whatever we do with it. There, there may be gaps. Mm -hmm. So look here, see? Go back to this question now. What would follow if we could do it? What would follow if we could do it? What would that say about the work? It's curiously wrought. It's curiously wrought. Oh, what else would you say? If, if we can do it, let's assume we've done it. Well, that was a lot of work, wasn't it? I'm sure glad it's over. <laughs> well, it's consistent. It's consistent. <coughs> we have the four, you know, originals, and now we have the four gods. And if, it, if it's going to be continually consistent, they have to have four levels in the level of time. Well, that's just redundant. Mm. But according to Marty, redundant is a good thing. You know, if you have four levels of gods, there's got to be a difference between each level to make them meaningful. Mm -hmm. Sure. Then these are the necessary set of gods to show how providence flows through the family of gods as detailed in this section. Fast and dirty. Does that follow? Yeah. Yes. Mm. Oh. Mm. Well, That's curious. Well, it's what? I'm, I'm saying it's curious because one of the gods in that hierarchy is Zeus down there in the, in the lowest level. Of and, this the is the, and it's said that this it's is Demi, this that's, is Demi yeah, so, that's, so it's curious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, giving the story. Yeah. Or playing the role. Yeah, all the way down here. I have a, a friend of mine who's worked, I should tell you, that I don't know whether you want to hear a story at this point. <laughs> uh, no. Go for it. I have a friend of mine who's done some very interesting work on pornography. Oh. And we're going to yeah, invite him over. <laughs> and uh, he made a study of all the different traditions that are so great love scenes and, and uh, also looked at videos and things in order to keep up with it because he's a very studious guy. <coughs> Thorough. Thorough. Yeah. Thorough. Exacting. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. With great exactness. Mm. Yeah. And some he goes back over and over. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you why he's doing it, you see. He came across the story of uh, Zeus and Hera making love on Mount Ida. Right? Mm -hmm. And what he's doing, he's getting a group of very fine animators to produce a new production of the seduction of Zeus by Hera on Mount Ida, including 
creating that magnificent cloud of luminosity that conceals even the sun's rays, right, so they can stay within it and make love, and he's going to animate the whole thing, music in the background. So I just thought I'd tell you about that. Music in the background. <laughs> Fog in the foreground. <laughs> well, story, you know, I mean, yeah, it has nothing to do with this. Frank Herbert can do it. Hmm. You're going to take the clouds away so we can... Anyhow, I thought I'd tell you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good manga. Oh, these are all relations, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Let me do that again. Oh. Yeah, mm. oh, yeah I have the same problem. Good. Um, because instead of... When I do it, I don't put them in boxes. I, ha I do a little like line like that, like a circumflex which the kids call a squiggle. And so we got all our gods squiggling. And um, the squiggling seems to help because then Zeus goes out and he squiggles with every generation <laughs> and for 17 generations. Squiggles. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why we get Heracles, because she's pissed. But um, uh, it, it's, there's a diff each one of those gods self-produces a whole bunch of gods. That's right. And then each one of those gods has a union with a special god, which creates new generations. Yeah. But I like the squiggling. That, that's right. So the See, Proclus adds to that thesis, and he says, as you go over this list, read it carefully, and you'll notice something very important. And he says that. Uh, as you go through it, see whether you can discuss what kind of relationship any one of these sets had to produce the consequent. Mm -hmm. right. So, um, I, I found that part of what you said rather good. Mm -hmm. um, um, like, through this whole thing, He's talking about children being born. This is a genealogy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They're all genealogies. Um. But might we say that since these are still outside of time and generation as we know it in the universe, that it cannot be of the substance either in time, you know, or the universe itself. And no, this is not in, That's right, this is not in time. This is not in time, and right. it's not in the same substance mm -hmm. as the universe. It's, that's it's right. in the cosmos substance. Because it only picks up from here. That's right. Yeah. So therefore, all of this has to be prior. Mm -hmm. So the, the idea that brother and sister, okay, of the same, because it's different substance and different laws are here, it really, you know, cannot, at least in my thinking, you know, be considered anything anthropomorphic. You know, brother and sister are really meaningless here. Because the substance in which they exist, you know, precludes any kind of concept of a human genetic or any other kind of concept. Because they're not physical bodies, they're not, you know, even souls. How they're do you gods. know? How do you know that? By it's logic. It, it's not in time. It's not in the universe. Oh, it, it, cannot be, it cannot be in the same conceptions as, think about it, as do material that conceptions. Brother and sister cannot have a meaning at this level. Do you, have a, do you have a place in the text where it says that? What? Outside of time, above the universe. Let me uh, just, just count. Let me try something. Okay. The most common use of these names is that time says, uh, replenishes the earth. 
in a variety of ways. Also, is a major source that binds of the waters together, and therefore it replenishes the earth through that activity. And Porky represents the hidden dangers of the deep, the, the troubled. We can call it, if you want to make up a phrase, troubled waters. And that's a good, that, someone ought to make a song with that title. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I make some money. Well, it's called, it's called Deep Shit. Okay, I thought I'd be clever. Um, if, if so, um, that's rather curious. Um, As an example, is there some particular problem that the demiurgos has to confront in order to proceed with this uh, providence? Right at 30? The disorder. Or not? The disorder. Pardon? The disorder bringing. Disorder. disorder. Right. There could be no providence if disorder. Ah, so he has to do something with the disorder. Oh. oh. And if they talk about disorder being the cause of hidden dangers, oh, yeah. well, then that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Oh. I don't know. Amar. So we're beginning to play with Amar. Oh. 39E. See? Go to Proclus, right, or go anywhere you want, because this is really philosophical archaeology, isn't it? We're digging up stuff to try to make sense of something. Right? It's not our tradition. We're digging it up. So, Oceanus, same thing. See, notice in this whole list, this is very unusual. One, two, three gods normally not discussed. If I were to talk about the gods of liberation, etc., they're not in there. The Olympian gods, they're not in it. So he must be using this, either blindly and at random, to satisfy a custom. Or if we do see what's attributed to each of these, is it possible that going back into these four levels that we can then say, hey, you know what? We can see those four levels in these four levels. And maybe you can find it all the way through it, not rather than one to one, two to two, three to three. Wouldn't the four, um, because Zeus is at level four, wouldn't uh, those four levels have to be prior to the paradigm? Well, no, the, par the, the paradigm is prior to Zeus. Oh. In one sense. Uh, I, in what way do you mean prior? Let me stop. Well, I'm, I'm just wondering... Uh, the, see, the paradigm, let me change it. The word paradigm is another, is another name for chronos. Right, and so if we have the, that, those levels, right, if, if, if chronos is the paradigm, then this should uh, so-called transfer over, right, metaphysically. So um, these, the, the one and two would have to be prior to the paradigm, correct, in his metaphysics? Because certainly the paradigm is discussed, that's chronos. Mm -hmm. In other words, wouldn't it be interesting if we could just take, if we can say, change our model now, all right, chronos. Every place where we find where the paradigm might be discussed, mm -hmm. Only, ah, but then, um, well,
Or, I, I, or I guess like um, essentially like what's the significance that of Kronos and Zeus being on you know the the lower levels. Well, put it another way. Uh, what follows from, from Zeus is the need to finish creation with all the junior gods. Therefore, it ends. So we really then have an assignment, don't we? Like, let's see if we can get as much as we can. One, two, three. Good heavens. Four. Five. And any source is good. Plotinus, Iamblichus, Proclus. Uh, I'm getting the feeling that this is a creation myth. It's how things came into existence. I don't know it, whether this is a creation myth at all. You don't think, you don't know? It's a genealogy. A genealogy, okay. But whether it can be used as a cosmology, I don't know. But it looks like it may be used to show the... the uh, There's a hierarchy. Hierarchy to explain the way in which providence proceeds from heaven to earth. And so, I guess my, my point is, is it, does it transcend, if it continues to transcend, does it transcend to the one, or like you just said, does it only transcend to providence? Does it transcend providence? Well, we, we know that from the introduction. Um, What's the it? But, but... But is, but is Providence the same as the one, or are we looking at a different way of seeing the generation of being? See, what another uh, um, here, let, let me do one more thing. Um, I was talking with Barbara, and she uh, pointed out that there's another curiosity in here that we should hit before we go further. That th this is backwards. It should be Uranus in heaven, not Earth in heaven. Right? That was Barbara's remark. So there's something wrong there. But that's minor. That's just a, a Greek text that was flawed. Hmm. My copy was <laughs> minor is an early <laughs> Greek text. Uranus is heaven. Well, which is in the hierarchy, which did you put first? Oh, heaven. Thank you. Therefore, you're right. It's a mistake, which is the point that Barbara was making. But if we put them together, then they can have sex. You mean they can? I don't know about we, but okay. No, no, no. I meant that. We I meant, you know, do, do these, every, or maybe everybody gets into this one. <laughs> I'm not a, you know. I don't understand. Are you just saying that Uranus should come before her? I was celibate for the first three years of my life. <laughs> Bill, no. I'd appreciate it if you don't laugh at these self-confessions. God, terrible one. I've always liked to be a straight man. Mm -hmm. One more time. Okay. Um, you're in the I bet, I bet, I know that everything you can say for all of these. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a gas? <laughs> <laughs> They're all wrong. The whole thing's bass backwards, right? In terms of hierarchy, right? Mm -hmm. 
All right. I okay, just thought in, thought in passing. Wait. That's all. Now, wait a minute. Now, this is some, this is some of this. So you haven't said anything about the fact that Fortis is not in a coupling. Well, that's absolutely correct. That's why I drew it this way. Right. Yeah. Threesomes ain't allowed in the system. That's all. <laughs> That's one of the great Greek classical statements they always pass around. If you're screwing, not with three, only two. Yeah. That's in Greek, by the way. So therefore, it's true. Is that right? Okay. Ah, nothing but trouble with this group. What do you mean they're out of order or they're backwards? In what way could that be true? I, mean, I, d I didn't hear you. In what way could it be true that, that's, that they're backwards or... Out of order. I, I didn't get your point. Didn't you just suggest that the list that we have up there may be faulty, that it may be out of order, that the relationships might not? I think, if I'm answering your question, Excellent. that it was mentioned that in this threesome, oh, just there. there are only these two that generate these two. Right. Right. Unless. And this is a two, 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 two. Actually, Pierre, the question was about um, your point initially where you said, or not so initially, but that Gabe is preceding Uranus, and that is a, that is a reversal of the original or the, or the more commonly accepted hierarchy, oh. and that you suggested that that reversal might, might play itself out on those three levels, or even, oh, sorry, those Well, I was levels. trying to avoid that I conclusion. So. Because that would give us another problem, Barbara. Oh, what problem would that give us, Pierre? We'd have to think again all over, to, after we understood it, why he arranged us it the way he did it. Yeah. That's okay. I don't mind thinking again. <laughs> okay, look, look here. <clears throat> um, okay. I haven't been in this work for... A while, yeah. but um, oh, I haven't was lucky. Is that because you let you didn't push that question that you had to, uh, David, with Pierre? I could find it quickly. Uh, 
I think I got it. Oh, that's right. Ah, that's right. Okay. I was in the wrong section, obviously. I, I, I got the section. For those of you who have uh, Proclus, it's about 890 on like look what he says here as a section on Parkes. Eight ninety one page eight ninety one. How about four ninety one? Which would be uh Commentary on the Timaeus? Yeah. 3,187. Is that the second volume? Or? Uh, he's got some interesting things to say. It goes on and on. But it's, 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 uh, in a way, it's not too helpful for our purpose. But it is interesting. Um, and um, on Portis? Ah, uh, it's terrible. Ah. My eyes, ah, yeah. On eight ninety five, this is his summary <coughs> for heaven terminates earth, earth corroborates. An ocean moves all generation. But Tithes establishes everything in its proper motion. Intellectual essences and intellectual middle essences and the soul or psychical. And such, are, such as are corporeal and physical motion. Ocean, at the same time, collectively moves all things. Saturn alone divides intellectually. Rhea vivifies. 
Parkes distributes spermatic productive principles. Zeus perfects things apparent from such as are unapparent. And Hera, for him Juno, and Juno evolves according to the all various mutations of visible natures. And thus through this Aeneid all the subluminary and world derives its completion and is fitly arranged, divinely indeed, from the gods. That the number of the Aeneid is adapted to generation. For it proceeds from the monad. And then he goes through this discussion on monads. Now this goes on for many pages, but this is the summary of what he pulls together and um, um, so if we were just to use this, he's saying Oceanus moves all. Uh, that's what he's saying. Right. Um, collectively, all together, collectively, collectively, brings all together. Saturn or Kronos, uh, pardon me, yeah, Kronos, divides intellectually. Right. That is to say, right, that, that's the paradigm. He divides, right? Remember the divisions? This divides. It divides the uh, world of forms. Rhea, Rhea, for each of these divisions, vivifies it, brings life to it, is responsible for bringing life to each of these. Uh, good old Porky distributes spermatic productive principles. Uh, See, um, it's really the realm of nature, right? Spermatic principles, everything that's generative in the natural world. So there, it's of nature, right? He creates the principles of nature. What does he do? Sir? What does he do? He creates he do? generation. Generation, yeah. Yeah, distributes spermatic productive principles, which is often said to be the power of nature. Zeus perfects, which is what he's doing, isn't it? Right. And Hera is responsible for the evolution, evolves all. All various mutations of visible natures. Now, let's assume we can use Proclus for the moment. Is that what's needed to talk about? See, is that what's needed to talk about providence proceeding from the highest? Must this be said? Why must this be said? No. Or do we have to? Do, hey, put it another way. In other words, do we need to expand our notion of the way in which providence must proceed to reach us in order to understand what he's saying? That would be a nice task, wouldn't it? <laughs> but right, to change your mind about providence. Um, Could you do Tethys again? Oh, Lord, just for a moment. Okay. Tithes, uh does something very interesting. 
establishes everything in its proper motion, intellectual essences in one, etc. By proper and uh, we could really call it proper distribution, establishes everything in its proper motion. See, because when we finish this strange book, we're going to have to go back through it and see how providence, in fact, can be said to go through it. But look here, try it again now, okay? Um, huh. There's nothing, there's nothing to describe Gaia or Uranus. Oh, you're quite right. By opening my book, um, Heaven and earth, he turns it around instead of earth and heaven. Having the first arrangement, but afterwards the sublunary kingdoms. Uh, that wasn't helpful. Um, for heaven terminates, earth corroborates. That wasn't very helpful. But I'll put it in. Boundaries, right? Not boundary. Not ending. Um, so it's easy. So much. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Try this, okay? What would be a better word than my putting up here corroborates? Got a better word for corroborate? What's another Assimilates word? Assimilates to the same model, perhaps? Ooh. What? Assimilates to the same model. Assimilates to the same model. Reflects or uh, follows so or something. agrees with, yeah. agrees in nature with. Huh. Earth or provides, and, and it provides substance for the termination. Similitude? Mm. Substantiates. It's what oh. I think. Oh, let me put it this way. For providence to function, should it corroborate? Hmm. We hate that. Word. Somebody should. Agree to the truth of? Corroborate. Support the truth of? Let's try it. If it can be said that Earth corroborates, what in what possible meaning can someone have for saying that? The root means to strengthen. To strengthen. Right. If, if Thomas Taylor is doing his root thing, it would be strengthened. The root of what? Corroborates. Terminates. Like terminates. Another one for terminate? Well, words. terminates. Um, uh, puts down Completes? Down. Puts boundaries on things, corroborates, strengthens. Um, puts yeah. limits. See, puts limits. If somebody does this, would they need this? Yeah, because otherwise you're just kind of like, you know, like. Unending. Yeah, blithering. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, if providence is something that proceeds, must then it proceed through um, its proper divisions as it proceeds? Yes. And that's... that's <clears throat> How much does it include? Everything. All. Oh. Oh. Wow. Uh, where does it function? Through all nature, through all productive principles. Oh.
See, our, our game should be, if we play with this, then can we go back and read the first 10 pages in the you know, Stephanus numbering and see whether we can find correspondences back to what we just described in terms of the gods. If it can be said to fit, then can we go further and say, hey, you know what? Would this show how the problems of God proceeds through each of these stages all the way down? These gods are an annoyance. <laughs> um, if, if you took out all the gods and you said that there was a power which terminates and corroborates, uh, uh, gives I got to get you to come move forward for me, okay? Could you, uh, if, I don't want to lose anything. If, if you threw out the gods and just used the qualities, you'd have a pretty neat list of adjectives. Mm -hmm. um, you could start with That's right. terminates, corroborates, puts in motion, That's right. orders, spreads, and, and creates nature. Um, da -da -da -da, get out of my way. Um, That's true. Divides, That's true. Uh, That's vivifies, true. Um, <laughs> uh, perfects, and then puts all in... Uh, have it into worldly creation. Right. And Greek mythology personifies processes. Mm -hmm. I, I just think in you, right. without the yes, knowledge, yes. No, no, that's right. That's, in other words, the full set of how these things are said to function, we can separate from the names of the gods, and it should be a continuous description of the flow of providence, or should fit the it's flow of providence. Of that's right. That's what it should do. That's right. So what? Here we wasted a whole Friday night. This is a primer. This is a who, what, when, when? This is a, a primer. Like He's combined within this mythology the key to understanding the whole word. Perhaps. Oh. oh. But your model, does this model suggest that uh, Zeus is a recipient of the providence of higher gods, yeah. of the prior gods. Yeah, yeah, certainly, yeah. And as exhibited in here, yeah. clever. Um, well, we're running over time. We don't want to do that, do we? It depends okay. on what folder. Now, uh, I hate to tell you this, but uh, <clears throat> I made a, a quick deal with Julie, and I bought up all the copies of Proclus's commentary on the Timaeus. Mm. So if you need a copy to go back and look at this section, you have to see me. <laughs> well, I only raised the price four or five times. And my copy is autographed. It's going to be autographed with love from Proclus. <laughs> Next week. But really, it's a rather interesting section. He talks about six, seven pages of this. It's only he's going into metaphysics, you see. That's the problem. Proclus goes into metaphysics. He doesn't go into providence. He mentions it a couple of times, but not as a central notion. So he wants to show the metaphysics behind this and how it necessarily entails his own Platonic theology. We're doing something somewhat different. Okay, see you guys next time. Thank you. Thank you for your fun.